Let's learn how to use the convolution subvi to convolve two short sequences. The convolution subvi is located underneath the signal processing palette. Let's take a look at the help description for this. We have two inputs, x and y and we have something called an algorithm and then we also have the output. Now we need to actually use the non-default value for algorithm. Let's take a look at the detailed help for that. It says that if x and y are short then the direct method is better than the what's called the frequency domain method. I'm going to create a constant and then select the direct method. This will be better for convolving short sequences. Let me create an array for the input and the output. I'll arrange these column wise. That way we can see a lot of numbers on the front panel as needed. I'll give this some values 1, 2, and 3. Let me give y the array values of a pair of 1's and then let's run that and see what we got. Now when you try this yourself you might confirm that you do in fact get the same values as what I just obtained. To visualize the arrays as a stem plot, I'll go ahead and place a waveform graph. I'll give that the same name, and that will be displaying the X array. Under common plots, I'll, I will pick the beginnings of the stem plot, and then we also need to pick point styles as being the solid dot. Let's run this to populate the graph. Might be a little difficult to see at first. Let me set some values here, adjusting the Y range. Let me do the same thing on the X range. And I need to turn off auto scaling before I make those modifications. Good, now we can see the value one showing up here there's two, and there's three. All right, that's the convolution block.